is up, guys, and I cannot be more excited to be bringing you this today. It is going to be a bit delayed because, well, we're going to keep it a surprise. And that being said, today is now Tuesday. Our track day is coming up on Friday, and everybody's doing like a little hundred dollar call out. So I put the hundred dollar call out for fastest streetcar, and we're going to give them a plot twist. Gray's not coming out Friday, but that's right guys, old girl here that you guys haven't really ever got to see is going to come back out. So what that means, for those of you that are just tuning in to the channel and don't haven't seen the other video, we took out our 1100 horsepower STI motor out of here, it was running and driving, we parked the car over the winter. Obviously, we don't really drive it through the winter. And um, we parked the car in the winter. And at that point in time, we uh, just got our white STI, as you guys can see right here, that we just finished. That car had to go into uh, paint work. And when we bought it, it had a bad motor. So I figured, why not? That car is sitting there. We already had pulled the fuel system out of it for Series Gray, since we were going to go bigger on the fuel system anyways. So the car was sitting there. It didn't run. The motor ran. And uh, I went ahead and pulled the motor out. I had the video up of it. We put it in the white car in uh, just a day it's time. And then the car went to paint. So when it got back from paint, we went ahead, pulled the engine out, and it's sitting over there on that stand, as you can see uh, in the corner over there. So now that it's out on the stand, it's gonna be time to put it back in the car. But before we can do that, yep, we gotta pull the transmission out of that car. Because, well, for the last track night when we went out, I did take Hyper Blue's transmission. 2016 STI, obviously, is Hyper Blue. And, uh, well, we haven't ever had any issues with those trannies. So, this car was locking me out of fourth before some of you have seen the video, or most of you have. So, I have that transmission literally right here. There's nothing wrong with it. Drives just fine, shifts fine, but it just. I think it needs new fork gear synchro, so I know it needs new fork gear synchro, so it locks you out of fork. So I went ahead and took the tranny I had, put it in the series gray, and to be honest with you guys, there's a lot of speculation of, you know, series gray just has everything from our blue car. And well, you know what? I don't hide it, it's on the channel. We do have the transmission out of it. We did put the brakes on so we could fit the slicks, and we did uh, put the fuel system out of hyper blue because we were gonna go bigger, so. It's not like we hide anything, guys. And for any of those people that want to, they can just watch the channel and keep it up, up to date with our life and what's going on. But here comes the downfall, guys. And my tuner is probably gonna be pissed at me. I've been waiting for about three months for Aeromotive to get back to me to prove a uh, sponsorship we were talking about on Hyper Blue. So that's why you guys haven't seen it race this season. Just been kind of waiting around, waiting for the approval. They didn't want me to order anything yet. Once they found out I was gonna make an order, we talked about a sponsorship deal. And with everything going on with COVID, who knows what's going on there. So it's been three months and I wanna make a pass in the car. And I haven't raced that thing down the track since last September, now being the end of July. So we're almost at a year, guys. So I just wanna make a pass. So we are gonna pull the fuel system back out of gray and put it back in there. And I'm gonna turn it down because it's it's maxed out guys. I mean the fuel system is 100% capped out. It's always been my fault for doing that and not putting the fuel system in the car. And Junior's gonna give me a bunch of shit for doing this, but we're gonna put it back in. I'm gonna put the car on its thousand wheel map. It seemed to be the happiest there and it had, I mean obviously it was still pretty much out of fuel at that point, but we had enough to make the car happy. Whereas, you know, we start pushing it further and further and doing a quarter mile pass it would it would break up and it would be a 140 percent duty cycle on injectors and it was just maxed out so i am going to take the fuel system i'm going to put it right back in the car i'm going to load the map on it that we had for it and we're going to go out racing guys so i'm going to get the tranny out of series gray i've showed you guys this time after time it seems like with that dang car it's the most i've ever put freaking transmissions in any of these things so i'm not going to show that i'm just going to get that out but i am going to show putting the car back together. So let me get that out, get all our parts laid out, and then we will start getting this thing together. And guys, it's gonna be hilarious to see everyone's reactions because no one's expecting it to come out.
let's get to it guys before i get started and those wondering look how freaking dirty this thing is i don't know it should pick it up on camera but this thing is so dirty since we sold the turbo off this thing to alex the subscriber on the channel which you guys can see there's obviously no turbo there but this thing's still together guys you know for all the haters it seems like there's a lot lately i haven't driven the car obviously because it just doesn't have a turbo and there you go guys not lying don't got no turbo on the damn thing but she ran and drove perfect up until I sold the turbo off of it, which, no big deal. We'll get another one for it, just not right this moment. And right this moment, it's gonna be her moment. So let's do it, guys. There we have it guys. We have the transmission out of the gray car and we have the engine off and ready to go in. As you can see here, and you can see that Xetti triple disc back there. But here we go guys, not hiding anything. Here's how Hyper Blue looks right now. So obviously, like I said, in the beginning of this video, we took the motor out, put it in the white car, and we took the trans out and put it in the gray car. So now we need to put all that back in the car and it's just bare right now been kind of neglecting this thing this year I'm dying out here it's like 95 degrees out guys I just turned on the AC thank you to the wife for giving me this good idea because we have a window here and what better thing to have is AC as you can see the garage is all insulated we have an insulated door it actually does really well so now that we're done outside with series gray we can get on to putting hyper Woo together and I'm gonna get the transmission in I don't think any of you need, really need to watch step by step of that, but I don't know. We'll get that thing in there and then we'll start getting this engine thrown back in. Start putting this thing back together. We gotta pull the parts out because they've just been sitting in it all year. So definitely gonna be a chore getting this thing back together. Anyone that has pulled the car apart and it sits, you know what I mean. Sometimes you gotta find a bolt or something, even though we put everything in bins. So we'll see how it goes. Hopefully it's not too hard to process. Like I said, I'm dying. I'm gonna let this get some AC going in here and we are gonna get started on this thing. Ask me what I'm doing, just grinding. Hate is what I hate, let them hate, never mind them. Be more on bins, trying to reach the next plateau. And I can't stop till I achieve my goals. Keep a couple fees inside the photo. So official with the vibe, you can't fuck up my zone. Hold on for a minute, let me count mine. You know, hey, you know. Hey, uh. They throw a salt on my name Ooh, they let it throw shade Cause a young nigga pay Family straight Diamonds in my chain I'm just doing my thing Nuts just dragging Nothing here average A far above that shit Simple and plain Ballin' when it's sunny But I keep some cheddar sack for the rain Yeah, I keep some cheddar sack for the rain Say it with some fees And they all on my teeth Rollin' my lap Pourin' my drink Team me too Everybody has to step They came a long way From that bootleg cape Nigga me losing, There ain't no way My homie just died And they cried for days Tomorrow ain't promise I put that on my mama, Jamal, ain't problems, I'm dead on my mama. Yeah. Ask me what I'm doing, just grinding. Haters wanna hate, let them hate, never mind them. Be more on bins, tryna reach the next plateau. And I can't stop till I achieve my goals. Keep a couple fees inside the photo. So official with the vibe and get fuck up my zone. Hold on for a minute, let me count mine. You know, you know. Ask me what I'm 
them with just grinding Haters wanna hate, let them hate, never mind them Be more ambitious, tryna reach your next plateau And I can't stop till I achieve my goals Keep a couple feeds inside the photo So official with the vibe, you can fuck up my song hey, Hold on for a minute, let me count my, you know hey. You count my money while I'm counting these blessings Mind the setbacks, those were just lessons Moving too fast, had to set a pace Bleed my goal, shit ain't no race Tennessee see straight, I'm only chasing money Smart nigga, mama ain't raised, no dummy Stay in drama free, but if you bring it, we can run And as a young and I learn bullshit about nothing Nigga be losing, there ain't no way My homies just died and they cry for a day Tomorrow ain't promise, I put that on my mama Tomorrow ain't promise, I put that on my hey. mama Nigga be losing, there ain't no way My homies just died and they cry for days Tomorrow ain't promise, I put that on my mama Tomorrow ain't promise, I put that on my mama Yeah, ask me what I'm doing, just grinding Haters wanna hate, let them hate, never mind them Be more bitch, tryna reach your next plateau And I can't stop till I achieve my goals Keep a couple feeds inside the photos So official with the vibe, you can fuck up my song Hold on for a minute, let me count mine You know, you know Ask me what I'm doing, just grinding Haters wanna hate, let them hate, never mind them Be more bitch, tryna reach your next plateau And I can't stop till I achieve my goals Keep a couple feeds inside the photos So official with the vibe, you can fuck up my song Hold on for a minute, let me count my You know, you know Well guys, I had to let the camera charge for a little bit, and in the meantime, I just buttoned up the last couple things we needed to, which was getting those 800 horsepower DSS front axles back in this thing. We got the transmission all the way in, and there she is, guys. So we got it jacked up right now. This thing is ready to get that engine back in here. And this car is a little bit different on how it's set up. Uh, this car is actually really easy to work on. It's kind of refreshing after what we've been working on and series gray is definitely a lot harder to work on than this is um the way that we designed this with ranch built i'll go ahead and link them over here you'll see their instagram or over there and they're the ones that originally built the turbo kit for the car it makes it super nice guys you can see the turbo is literally bolted to the frame right there and if you look down a little bit lower you can see that's where our header comes so this would be called like an up pipe there's where our wastegate dump tubes are, by the way. But, so we have a three bolt flange here, like a normal Subaru flange to the header. So I like putting the engine in bare. There's nothing on it, there's no header, there was no intake manifold on it. We're gonna bolt that thing in here. We're gonna make sure our clutch works, number one, like I always tell you guys. And from there, we take and we put the header on it and we can bolt our header up and then literally our whole turbo kit's hooked up. And that is why this thing is so nice to work on. And then the rest of it is pretty simple from there. Um, I mean, it does have the basics pretty much. It, we're gonna have to put the intake manifold on. Um, we are gonna have to. Shoot. We're gonna have to put like AC power steering on it. There, those are all kind of sat to the side there. You can see that this has uh, alpha locks on it. And for whatever reason, why on this car those things are just a giant pain in my butt. It takes like. 
three of us to put the damn thing on. So, or a chain wrench, as you can tell. I've already scratched the crap out of them. So I just use the chain wrench and they go on just fine. Why? I don't I don't know why, guys. So, if you guys are ever looking into that point or if any of you are at this, this level of using a different clamp, I don't think I would recommend an Alpha Walk. Um, I, I just like the standard coupler style, but with this car and the boost level it's running, sometimes you worry about having a coupler. But that's a whole nother topic, guys. I cannot tell you how excited I am to be putting this thing back together and working on this car. It's been so long. And to be honest with you guys, this is my true pride and joy. Like This is my, my favorite car. This is the one that means the most to me. So when I get the chance to work on this car, it's just nothing else competes with it. So couldn't be more excited to finally put this thing back together and make it pass in it and drive it. We're all ready to go. Um, I did set up our clutch already. So we put the pin in. We have the fork and throw bearing on there. Obviously we're running a Exeti triple disc on here, as you can see. So this thing is ready to go in the car. And from there, we can get this turbo kit all set up. The car is a bit higher than what I would like usually because, well, I didn't lower it down after putting the transmission in, so I still have it up pretty high in the air. Um, as you guys saw there, I did put the transmission in by myself just with the help of that jack down there. And it actually is really pretty straightforward. This way is not too hard, but no matter what, it's a heavy transmission, so it's, it's always difficult. It's, I found that that's the easiest way, but I should have lowered the car down. You can see here, it's pretty, freaking high and there's the motor for example but I'm just gonna admit you we don't have anything on there so it shouldn't be too hard I'm gonna get this thing thrown in the car I'll see if I can get my little stand here to go high enough so you guys can watch and yeah we'll get the thing thrown in and we'll get this thing back together
we're kind of just chugging along here, we're running out of time. Uh, today is the next day. This is Thursday. Track night being tomorrow, and well, I haven't even heard Hyper Blue start up yet. So, a little behind schedule, definitely. Um, as you can see here, we are working away. It's coming together. It's looking more and more complete. Uh, one thing I did want to talk about as I'm working here, I want to give a big shout out to Vivid TI. And I know I've mentioned him before, guys, and I can't give him a big enough shout out, Josh, at Vivid TI. He went ahead and just look at these, made these for us. Look how bright, bright, look at how bright his colors are on this titanium. So we are working together to make a kit for Subarus right now, guys. And I'm running a test on these. We're gonna be putting some on here. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a link down in the description. It's always there for you guys. If you wanna get your own Vivid TI titanium hardware, he sells it at a great price. So check him out, guys. Thank you. I'm gonna... All right, guys. So I know the last clip cut off and that was because, well, the battery died on the camera. So after letting this thing charge for a while, I was able to finish out everything pretty much on the car. And I just flashed the map back on it that I wanted. And now we are ready for our first start, guys. Couldn't be more excited. I probably need to turn this thing off because it's been flashing. So let's get in here. And yeah, it already wants me to turn it off. So you guys are gonna be right here with me while we're doing the first start. I do need to go ahead and throw in the O2 sensor real quick, so I'm gonna do that. And then as soon as I get that in, we will do this first start. It's gonna want us to turn it off for 15 seconds anyways, if you know how access ports work. So let me go ahead, turn these lights off, one, two. We need to put our sensor in there. So let me do that real quick. All right guys, we got that sensor in. I just ran it across for right now, but usually it goes underneath and gets all nicely tough. But this is gonna work for the first startup and we're already getting pretty close to that lovely noise ordinance. And you guys all know we're gonna get the cops called anyways on us, even though it's only nine o'clock. But that's fact of life. So let's get on in here, turn our gauges back on, which are all gonna be different than what they should be. Oh, I guess that helps. So, let's change a couple of these. And we wanna see fuel pressure. Which, there we are. And that should be good enough. All right, guys, here we go. This is a big moment. It's been a while. Die. Make sure there's nothing leaking. Cold start. This thing hasn't started, guys, since January. But everything's working. Ooh, that turbo though. So, just want to make sure we don't have any leaks. Which I already checked fuel. Everything looks to be doing good. Don't see any oil leaks, so let's do this again. And this time, let's try to keep it running. Sounded like it was running pretty decent. All right, let's try this again. Hmm, that's weird guys. The throttle body's not working. Track control's freaking out because, well, we're in the air and the tires are spinning and I still need to bleed the brakes. Who the frick? Travis! We are busy right now, pal. He's gonna be pissed at me, but let's see what happens. Just need to turn that Dane track control off and then we'll be able to be good. So let's try it again. Go look at our stuff. Just 
just making sure there's no leaks, guys. I'm the only person here. So, I don't see anything leaking. There's no oil. God dang, look at you go. Spinning like no other. No, everything looks good, guys. I'm mainly looking at oil feed line, oil return. Everything looks good. Fuel system's burping. Obviously, you hear the fuel system's on. Try this again. Ugh. There we have it guys, we let this thing idle all the way to operating temperature. Got all the air pockets out of the cooling system. Everything's working good, thermostat opened. Couldn't be happier guys. It's been a long time coming. Should have put this thing together sooner. And I really can't wait to make a pass in this thing tomorrow. Um, I still need to go make a test hit in Mexico. Make sure that everything's working the way it should. Uh, right before I took the car apart, I was having some issues with it coming up on boost. And I really think that the issue is gonna be our boost controller because if you take a look, it's actually mounted right in our frame rail here and we obviously don't have any kind of fender on here. So I drove it in some snow and rain. Shouldn't have done that, but that was quite a while ago and unfortunately I had to. Um, and I think it ruined the boost controller. So I got a new boost controller. Shout out to Dan at Torque Solutions. He got that thing here. As quick as he could almost next day for our race trip also we went ahead put on our torque solution fuel rails on here this car is sponsored by torque solution 
if you guys ever need anything, I mean, it works top notch. I've never had any issues and they're a great company. They have a lot of great products to offer for many cars, not just Subarus. So please go ahead and check out their website. I will go ahead and put a link in the description for you guys, but great people over there. So check them out. And I got that boosting tour, so I need to put that on and we still need to finish the brake swap. I did the fronts and don't mind the dirty freaking wheel, but we got the front brakes back on her. Coming to the rear, we don't have the two pot rears or the four pot, so pretty sure. Uh, they're bigger, they're at 18 plus. So we still have our 18 plus in the rear and we need to switch back to our 17 and older brakes. So I still need to do that. And I still need to do the rear axles and I think for tonight, I'm gonna end up just putting these wheels back on the car to stock Hyper Blue Wheels, bleeding the front brakes, and get that boost controller on it. Obviously have to put the headlight back in for tonight, and then go out and take a test hit, and hopefully, fingers crossed guys, that the boost controller is a freaking issue, because if it's not, I'm not too sure what's going on. We might have to pull the housing on a turbo, and then obviously that's gonna screw us up for going racing, and let's just hope that's not what it is. So. Let me go grab that new boost controller. I'm gonna go bother the wife. Like I said, it's like 9, 9.30. And she was asleep, not anymore. I doubt it. See if I can get her to come out to bleed these front brakes for me. And then from there, we might be able to go do a test drive. So I'll keep you guys updated before I end this video out. Oh, look who came to help us. Here. You! <laughs> Check it out night mode. Look at that. It looks like a toy car. Look at this guy's night mode. Look at that. Yeah, iPhone for the win. Boom. Curious. Oh, look at the camera picks it up. That's why you spend the big bucks. Go pick up the swirls. Andrew came all the way out to help us bleed these brakes so we can go do our test drive. As you can see, we got the whole front of the car together. So right now I'm just switching out the rear wheels because Gray has the rear wheels I need. So I'm going to do that and then we're going to go out to Mexico, make a hit, see if this thing works. There we go. It's ready to go out to Mexico. We're gonna do a little test hit. You know, let the thing warm up outside. Be somewhat considerate to the neighbors. Somewhat. Bob's ready. Oh, he's ready. He's already he probably looking for you to. He told me he's waiting to hear it. <laughs> so I'm gonna start this thing up. We're gonna get out there. Maybe I'll have him hold the camera when we're out there and get an outside view. But probably should torque the wheels. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I'm gonna go grab a torque wrench. Well, we torqued the lug nuts and we decided. Might as well go ahead and fill it up all the way so that way we know we're good to go. And he wanted me to film my janky fuel setup. <laughs> Hell yeah, I got paid. But this baby works. We got a D-Dub 400 in there. Battery. Line. Things tits. Here we go, guys. We are now driving her out. We've got that full tank of gas. Everything's looking good. Pretty excited, guys. Hopefully, fingers crossed that this thing hits target boost, everything works. Otherwise, it's gonna really suck. So, hopefully, we just hit target boost, everything goes good. We can just focus on getting the car even more ready for tomorrow night, tomorrow. And yeah, so we're gonna be driving for about the next 10 or so minutes, we'll go out to Mexico here, and then we'll do a couple bowls for you. Unfortunately, not fixed. It's only hit 17 pounds of boost. So, we pulled the wastegate line. Didn't seem to help anything. Still only hit 17 pounds. Big shout out to Andrew for coming out tonight. Of course. For my failure. But, hmm. Now to find out what's wrong. 
I don't expect it's throttle body related if it's like not opening up all the way. Yeah. Uh, if you're only getting, you know, like eight, even 90% of your throttle body, you're, it's going to shoot all your boost out. It'd be like if you're yeah. kind of full throttling it, which would make perfect sense. Which, by the way, guys, it's throwing throttle, throttle body codes left and right tonight more than what it usually does. So. But it's TPS or something like in your throttle body. It's fucking with it. It's always giving me problems with it. And it seems to be doing it worse. Oh, so, I don't know what's going on, but definitely need to figure that out pull off the exhaust housing on the turbo just to kind of rule that out because I must I mean we ruled everything else else out should boost leak test the car to be honest but I don't know we'll figure it out till now that's gonna end this out guys now yep take her for a rip okay there you go works pretty well What's up? It works really well. At least Especially when you don't press the clutch in and fire it up without the throttle body on. This thing about took off and took my hand with it. And I was sitting here holding this and he started it. No throttle body. It just takes all the air. It was like she was just going to go to 10K. I felt like I was just starting a fucking mountain. <laughs> <laughs> At least I know how to kill it real quick. Well, throttle body. Nice. Not this shit. Living life up in the fast lane. Living life up in the fast lane. Living life up in the fast lane. Fast lane. Turn me up. And I ain't slowing down. I ain't slowing down. I ain't slowing down. Living life up in the fast lane. Pedal to the ground.